Mark Appel is in our profile today, the 2013 MLB first overall pick by the Houston Astros. He was the first pick after not signing in 2009, not signing in 2012. He waited and it worked. He's one of the top prospects in all of baseball and he joins us now from the dugout during this championship game. How are you? First of all, congratulations on a very, very solid fall. Thank you. I'm, I'm doing I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day. Uh, you know, championship baseball. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. So uh, just glad to be here. Well, you know, it has to be important for you, Mark, because you've arrived. Uh, you're doing an interview and someone's throwing sunflower seeds on you. You know, I see it. I see it so often. Uh, you know, we, we have a lot of fun here, uh, you know, in the fall league. These guys are great. Um, you know, guys I'm going to be friends with for a long time. Well, Mark, how, how important was the fall league for you just from the season that you had, the regular season, just to get innings and to get confidence? Uh, are you going into the offseason with more confidence Absol after the fall league than you might have had before? Absolutely. And, you know, this, this season, it's been a long one for me, but I've learned so many lessons that, you know, I'm going to be able to take with me, um, you know, into the offseason, into the 2015 season. And, uh, and I, you know, I finished pretty well in, in Corpus Christi this year. Um, and, you know, I, can't, I, I prepared in September. Um, to come out here and, and, and just kind of prove something that, you know, I, sure, I had a, I had a bad, uh, I mean, a really bad season uh, in, in Lancaster, started to turn it around a little bit in double A, and I want to come out here and prove something that, um, you know, I deserve to be out here. I, you know, I, I was, I'm the guy that, that the Astros, uh, that the Astros saw at Stanford and, and somebody that, you know, hopefully they, they can see as, uh, as someone in their rotation for a long time. Well, tell me kind of what went on. You, you came out of uh, a very competitive, uh, I, would, I would call, you know, the Pac-12 or uh, you know, out of Stanford um, and then getting into professional baseball. What, what are you working on now to, to really get you into that speed slot to the major leagues? Honestly, uh, it, it's I mean, it's it's a constant process. There are things that I work you know that I was working on in Lancaster that I'm not working on anymore. Um, you, you're always making adjustments. You're always working on things. So. Um, you know, being here, it's just been about consistency. I've been um, really trying to clean up my delivery, uh, trying to have the same, uh, you know, same timing, same sequencing with, with all my pitches. And, uh, you know, it, it's starting to feel a lot better. And, and, you know, these last two games have been, uh, have been pretty good. And, and um, you know, I, I just I feel really good on that. I honestly wish that we had more, more games to play so that I could keep on pitching. But, uh, I, you know, the offseason will be really good for me. So is it more, Mark, just kind of uh, uh, getting everything gathered over the pitching rubber and just making all those pitches seem uh, exactly alike to where that release point is consistent and you get the ball going where you want it? Definitely. You know, and a lot of it's a lot of it's timing. Um, and, and, you know, it, it, it's it's basically the the what the what the hitters um, perceiving, you know, while he's looking at you, you know, if, if you're if all your pitchers are coming out of the same arm slot, then um, you know they're they're going to have a tough time picking on picking up on which one you're which one you're throwing. So you know if I have my changeup that that'll come down and into a righty, or my slider go down and away to a righty, or or you know my four seam or my two seam, if they're all coming out of the same slot, um, you know that's four different pitches that you know do four different things. And you know if they have a hard time picking up on that, um, you know usually. You know, it, it works in my favor. Well, let me ask you this: What's more difficult? You see a chopper to the left side there. Nice play. Gets the runner at first base, one away. What's more difficult: working your way through the Astro system or doing an interview while Archie Bradley is pelting you <laughs> with sunflower seeds? I mean, you're doing great. You're holding your composure for sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'd probably say uh, I'd pr probably say pitching's a lot tougher than uh, than doing this right now. This is pretty fun. Uh, Archie, Archie, and I have gotten to gotten to know each other really well, and uh, we've become pretty good friends uh, here. So, I mean, he's 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 one of those guys. If you don't know him. Um, you know, he, he he has a lot of fun. He works hard, um, and you know, this is this kind of guy is. You know, he he's friends with everyone. Everyone really likes him. So, uh, he, it's been really fun to be his teammate. That's one of the unique things about the fall league, isn't it? Coming together, different organizations, top guys, and and bonding or being forced to bond in a fairly short amount of time, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, I was actually you know walking around, uh, just talking to everyone and batting practice today, and. You know, I was talking with uh, Austin Nola just about kind of the, the dynamic of the fall league, and you know, he was saying that he, I think they played uh, where he was. He played 
he played the Diamondbacks, and so um, in, in the championship series uh, where he was during the regular season, and then he comes and he's on the team with the same guys, and he's just like, you know, these are guys that I was enemies against, and now, you know, I'm forced to be friends with them. It was kind of weird, and I mean, I remember that first week we had workouts and we were we were all uh, stretching and. Basically, the lines were, you know, there was the Astros line and the Twins line and the Diamondbacks line and, and so on and so forth. And, and now, I mean, it's like we're all, we're all one team. You know, we joke, we joke about, you know, uh, going to play, you know, like seeing if we can start, you know, the Rafters as a, as a new major league team because uh, we're having so much fun together. Well, Cody Stanley adds to fun on his side with Peoria now driving in another run, and they are on top in this game four to three. Nice piece of hitting there by by Cody Stanley, the designated hitter. And Mark, I was just going to, you talked about that kind of that camaraderie. How does that really get built in a short time here? Is it on the field, like pregame, or is it more off the field? Uh, how does that camaraderie and the teamwork get built? It's a, it's a combination of both. Um, you know, when we're when we're all working out together and, and we're all competing with each other, you know, you immediately become friends. I mean, you're, you're almost forced to. Uh, I mean, these are guys that you're, going to war with and obviously the the fall league might seem like a little bit more relaxed uh relaxed than the than the regular season um but you know at the same time we're we're still here to we're still here to win we're still here to compete we're i mean it's a great place f to either you know get a jumping you know a jump start for for uh the next season of, of your career or um i mean it's it's a great place to, for you know, general managers, the front office to come see you. Um, so there are a lot of top prospects in this league. And, and so, I mean, we all understand that we're here for a reason. We're here to work hard. We're here to, to compete. And, uh, and being part of a team, you know, in the team situation uh, that, that we're in, the team scenario that we're in, you know, it, it, it's fun to compete and it's fun to win. And, you know, we, we had a great start to the season. And, and you know, before you know it, we're, we're here in the championship game. Mark, I know it's about the bonuses, and you spend a lot of time uh, off the field with uh, with guys. And I would assume that you picked up your fair share of checks uh, based on the bonuses, right? And you guys go out to dinner uh, for the bonuses for uh, just for playing in the signing fall bonus. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> for, that's like the unwritten rule. Yeah, guys. That's right. yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's 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 been uh, it's definitely been a blessing, uh, you know, to be able to sign for what I did. Um, you know. I, I it, it I don't think it's really changed my lifestyle too often. I you know I, I and I don't want it to. Um, you know all the guys here um, are, are 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 really great with their money um, for the most part, and and you know we're all we're all basically trying to live within our, within our means. And you know minor league baseball players don't make a whole lot of money, and so I understand that. I know some guys here didn't sign for anything. And they've worked their their butt off to get here and, and be a top prospect and 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 earn their spot to the fall league. And so, um, you know, it, it, it's always fun to be able to to pick up the tab and even when they aren't asking for it. Justin O'Connor gives it a ride for his second home run of the day. My goodness, Peoria putting on a show the last couple of innings. Justin O'Connor with a two-run home run. They're not going to let you come on again, Mark. <laughs> the way this is going. I know. I should. I, I probably need to get off. Get off the mic. Uh, you know, we're. We're. I mean, we're. We're falling behind here. Um, but you know, our. Our team's resilient. We'll be able to. We'll be able to hopefully get some good at bats and grind out some at bats and. Uh, and hopefully, uh, hopefully come back in this game. I just want to ask you before you go. Goals for 2015. Can you help the big club in 2015? Absolutely. I. I. Th I think I could. Uh, you know, I could be there. Um, you know, there's so much outside of my control, and I've learned that. That's one of the biggest lessons that I've learned. You know, where I where I end up, where I, where I end up going. Um, you know, st starting out in the 2015 season. Um, I mean, there's so many things that go into it, and so you know, I've really really sim simplified it and, and said, you know, this is what I have today. This is what I have right now. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter what's happened in the past. It doesn't matter what's going to happen in the future. But you know, can I really? <laughs> Can I make today? Can, can I make today the, you know, the, the best day possible? Can I make the most of what I have today? All right, we're going to let you go here. They're changing pitchers. Thank you so much for your time. Very gracious, Mark Capel. Thank you, thank you, guys. I appreciate it.